In this video, we shall discuss the concept of optimal risky portfolio. Most investment professionals recognize that the really critical decision is how to divide up the money among stocks, bonds, and super safe investments such as treasury bills. We shall explore the solution for this asset allocation problem based on the concept of optimal risky portfolio. At the end of this session, students will be able to calculate the optimal weight to allocate in risky portfolio and risk-free asset and form an optimal risky portfolio that maximizes the sharp ratio. What is an optimal risky portfolio? Optimal risky portfolio is an investor best combination of risky assets. This portfolio is meant to be mixed with safe assets to form the complete portfolio. An optimal risky portfolio offers the highest feasible sharp ratio. The optimal risky portfolio can be determined by using the capital allocation line and investment opportunity set. The optimal risky portfolio is situated at the tangency point between the two lines. Let's have a quick quiz to test your understanding. In the two figures, the curve represents the opportunity set of risky assets, which consists of stock and bond. There are three capital allocation lines, CALA, CALB, and CALP. Take note of point A, B, D, E, and P. Which point represents the optimal risky portfolio? Portfolio B dominates portfolio A, offering a higher sharp ratio. The return of portfolio D is too low given its level of risk. Portfolio E cannot be attained from the capital allocation line. CALP has the steeper slope as compared to CALA and CALB. This means the sharp ratio of CALP is the highest among the three. So what is your answer? The answer is portfolio P. Portfolio P lies at the tangency point between the capital allocation line and investment opportunity set. It is the optimal risky portfolio. How can we calculate the rates of investment in optimal risky portfolio? The following formula is meant to be used for two asset portfolio that consists of debt and equity. D stands for debt and E stands for equity. The capital R denotes excess return. Excess return is expected return minus risk-free rate. The small r represents expected return. This formula enables us to calculate the rates of investment in debt and rates of investment in equity. How is the formula derived? The optimal risky portfolio is a portfolio that maximizes the sharp ratio. The sharp ratio is differentiated with respect to weight and set to zero. From there, the weight is soft. To find the weights of bond and equity that result in the highest slope of the capital allocation line, we maximize the objective function of sharp ratio. Bear in mind that we have to satisfy the constraint that the portfolio weights sum to 1. Weights of debt plus weights of equity should equal to 1. In practice, when we try to construct optimal risky portfolios from more than two risky assets, we need to rely on a spreadsheet or computer program. In a portfolio, definitely we will have more than two assets. Sometimes we can have 20 to 30 assets. Therefore, using computer is very important. Excel can be used to construct the optimal risky portfolio. We shall learn more on that in financial modeling. Let's look into an example. In this example, there are two assets, debts and equity. 
the expected return and standard deviation of debts and equity are given in the table. Equity has higher expected return and risk as compared to debts. The covariance and correlation between debts and equity are given in the table too. The risk-free rate is 5%. Our objective is to form an optimal risky portfolio using two assets, debts and equity. We shall determine how much is the weight of investment in each asset to form an optimal risky portfolio. After that, we can calculate the expected return, variance, standard deviation and sharp ratio for the optimal risky portfolio. To calculate the weights of debt and weights of equity for an optimal risky portfolio, we use this formula. Bear in mind that weights of debt plus weights of equity is equal to 1. The final answer are summarized in the table below. I hope you will practice the calculation. Let me briefly show you how the answer is calculated. In order to simplify the substitution of figure, I first calculate the assets return and variance. Assets return is the expected return minus the risk-free rate. Variance is the square of standard deviation. Next, I use the formula to calculate weights of debt. If you are using a calculator, it is easier to substitute variance and assess return into the formula instead of using standard deviation and expected return. The answer for weights of debt is 0 0.4. Weights of equity is 1 minus uh, weights of debt, which is 0 0.6. After the weights of debt and equity is determined, I can calculate the expected return, the variance, all right, and the standard deviation of the optimal risky portfolio. The sharp ratio is equal to the expected return minus risk-free rate divided by standard deviation of the optimal risky portfolio. The sharp ratio is 0 0.42. This slope exceeds the slope of any other feasible portfolio. It is the slope of the best feasible capital allocation line. We can also derive the equation of the capital allocation line using the concept of linear equation, which is y equals to a plus bx. The intercept represents the risk-free rate of 5% and the slope of the line is represented by sharp ratio, which is 0 0.42. Let's conclude our findings. In the example, we have two assets, debt and equity. If we invest 100% of the fund in equity, we are at this point which gives an expected return of 13% and standard deviation of 20%. If we invest 100% of the fund in bond, we are at this point, giving a lower risk and lower return. An optimal risky portfolio is one that maximizes the sharp ratio. It is achieved at the tangency point of investment opportunity set and the highest possible capital allocation line. To form this optimal risky portfolio, investors should invest 40% in debt and 60% in equity. This weight is calculated using formula that maximizes the sharp ratio. The optimal risky portfolio has an expected return of 11% and standard deviation of 14.2%. At this point, the sharp ratio of 0 0.42 is the highest among all the possible combination of debt and equity on the investment opportunity sets. 
Thank you. I hope you can understand this session. See you and goodbye.